yesterday, uh, FBI Director Co uh, Comey uh, decided that there wasn't enough evidence to indict Hillary Clinton. But what he said was a scathing indictment. Basically called her irresponsible, careless, and reckless. Instead, she should have known better. This will be used against her by the Republicans. And this would be a valid argument because the FBI is a bipartisan part of the government. And if this was a Clinton whitewashing, you wouldn't have had Comey be so scathing in giving the Republican Party talking points. She has to step down, or the superdelegates have to not vote for and switch sides and vote for Bernie Sanders. The thing is, the independents are the key of this election, and they do not like Hillary. They do not trust Hillary. And a lot of them are sick of the double standard. I mean, if Bill Clinton was a Republican... And if he had the Paula Jones, Monica Lewinsky scandal, you would have the Democrats go after him like they went after uh, Clarence Thomas and Senator Packwood. But the Republicans would have closed ranks and basically said it's none of their business. If Condoleezza Rice had multiple different servers uh, and didn't ask the depart uh, asked the department if it was okay, and if it looked like there might have been some classified information, or information about the Iraq War, let's say, that she didn't want anyone to see via the Freedom of Information Act, Democrats would be screaming bloody murder, and rightfully so. But Republicans would say it's no big deal. The superdelegates were created after 1972 to make sure that an unelectable candidate would not win the nomination after McGovern. Hillary Clinton is almost an unelectable candidate. She's fatally flawed. We can't let Trump win, and if Hillary continues to be the nominee, and if these things just plague her, and the thing is, Benghazi thing is BS. Um, it was a tragedy. But 9-11 was a tragedy. The Iraq War was a tragedy, but we didn't have partisan attack jobs investigations against Bush. But this email thing is real and is a problem. And I'm afraid it will doom her candidacy. So, Hillary Clinton, if you're watching this, which I don't think you are, drop out. And all the superdelegates, switch. Because if Trump beats Hillary, you will know that you had a chance to stop it, but you didn't. We can't take chances, folks. God bless.